welcome to Eastland English. Here in Canada, when you want to cross the road, there are rules. You see, this is a crosswalk here, and if we start walking across the crosswalk, someone has to stop. Thank you. Did you see that? It worked. It's really fun being a pedestrian here. I can cross roads anytime. It was really fun and feels safe, not like in Thailand. If you bring your own car into the Halifax city, you have to pay $3 per hour. It's more expensive than Ottawa, right? But it's still affordable. Not quite as affordable, but one of the most interesting tours you can take is to get on the Harbour Hopper. Tours last 55 minutes and cost about $50 for adults, $30 for young teenagers, and $20 for children. What is most amazing is the fact that you will ride in an amphibious vehicle. We found that one on the road before, and now it is in the water. An amphibious vehicle is one that you can drive on land and also go in the water like a boat. Look what we found! In the back behind us is Cow's Ice Cream, which is purportedly Canada's best ice cream. So we're going to stop here for dessert on the way back. If you like cotton candy, come to the Fog Company Halifax. Here you can get various flavors of cotton candy. Wave? Yeah, I guess it's a wave. I don't think it's a tongue. I know, but it looks like a big blue tongue, doesn't it? I disagree. <laughs> we are at another beaver tails, which is a famous Canadian pastry. Would you like to get a beaver tail today? Not today, because we are going to get another one in Ottawa. And today, what will we have? We are going to get Donia and Sid. We thought we would be able to find many shops that serve them. We were wrong. However, at the end of this episode, we finally got our sandwiches. Black Bear ice cream. Too bad that's not open. I'd like to try Black Bear ice cream. I wonder what it tastes like. This area is much bigger than I expected. I think you can easily spend hours and hours around this area. Both sides are full of food dessert and food and drinks as well and if you got them here this is the area you can enjoy what you bought Oh. Poutine is another iconic food of Canada and we can't find an open donair shot so I thought I would ask Yudi, would you like to have a poutine today? Ooh, too soon to say so. I still don't want to give up because it will be my first time to try Donia and I still look forward to having it. I understand. I agree. Let's keep looking. We did not find an open Donair shop on the waterfront, so we continued our stroll along the boardwalk, which led us along and almost into the harbor. There are many places you can stop and relax. Behind me, you will see colorful chairs. If you would like to enjoy the view, just go sit there. Next to it, I'm not sure what that is. They look like cottages. Possibly they are shops in the high season. And on your right side, what do you see? Another way to relax next to the harbor. Let's check out the hammocks. Although there were many hammocks set up and it was still not the high season, all of the hammocks were occupied. Unfortunately, I don't see an um, available one for me. There are no hammocks available, so we'll have to keep walking. Here on the harbor front boardwalk of Halifax, Nova Scotia, they provide different kinds of receptacles for your waist. I think this one is new. I have never seen this one before. Yeah, this is for stuff that you could compost, I guess. Living matter. I think that's an apple core yeah. and that's tea bag. 
So actually, it's a compost. Why do they say organics? I'm confused a little bit. Because we compost organics. Organics is anything that's living or has been living before. Ah, okay. Here behind us is a restaurant called Sea Smoke. And this restaurant has outdoor tables. And all of the outdoor tables have fires in the middle of the table. So I'm not so sure what the purpose of having it for cooking something right. on the table or due to the weather is so cold, people would like to have some warmth from the table while eating their food. Yeah. In Thailand, they have places called Mugata where you can get a fire at the table and cook your own food. But we don't see anybody actually cooking their own food. I think it's for warmth. I think you're right. It was quite chilly that day because of the wind and the fact that it was still springtime. A little bit of warmth at an outdoor table would be very welcome in this weather. Do you see something wrong with the pole? What do you think happened to them, Yuri? I'm not so sure. Maybe they got a very strong wind or we are drunk. <laughs> This installation is called The Way Things Are. However, in the pamphlets, they're called the Drunken Lamp Posts. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. The artists who created this installation are Chris Hansen and Hendrika Sonnenberg. These lamp posts are an example of personification or giving human characteristics to inanimate objects. The lampposts represent what people are like when they get drunk. After checking in the art, we headed back to get ice cream. We would see if cows did indeed make Canada's best ice cream. Oh, it's a souvenir shop as well. Good, thank you so much. Here, the cow who gives us the milk to make ice cream. And we're going to eat that ice cream. <laughs> Even if you are not a big fan of dairy products, there are still many things to see here, especially if you like cows. There are a myriad of cow-themed products, from cow pattern shirts to stuffed animals and toys. They even had toy ice cream cones. Time to go get ice cream. Okay, we have to pick a flavor, right? We're going to share two scoops, therefore we have to agree on two flavors. Yes, right. We have to clear our stomach for something else. Time to order. I think we order from here. Pretty good, thank you. Chunky chocolate mint. Okay, I do there. You got two scoops in one cup. You want to set the thing to split into two? Two scoops in one board. Okay, So, you got what you want? Preference, which one? That's the chunky chocolate mint. Yum, yum, yum. And Yuri is going to have the kitty mint. Oh, looks nice. Looks good. Yeah. Thank there you, you so go. much. So that comes up to 661 bucks. Which one are you going to try first? A blueberry, because you said it's um, unique here, right? It's special somehow? The blueberry is a special berry because they are grown in the Atlantic provinces, especially Prince Edward Island. And this is called PEI blueberry. So we assume that these blueberries in this ice cream were picked in PEI. That's Prince Edward Island. And that's where we're going next. Mm. Okay, what about the flavor? It's delicious. Everything is perfect. Not that sweet at all. I am, yeah. Is this the best ice cream you have ever had? I think that's a no. I have tried too many types of ice cream, so I cannot really make a decision if this one is the best or not. The sign says that it's Canada's best ice cream, so let me rephrase that question. Is this the best ice cream you've had in Canada? Absolutely! After digging into the ice cream for a while, I found around purple things. They are actually blueberries. For me, it's a little bit sweet. I've just tried the blueberry ice cream and it's too sweet for me. But as Yudi said, they are actually blueberries in it. 
blueberries. Real blueberries. We shouldn't be eating dessert before our dinner. I disagree. I think you can try any dessert at any time you want. Yum or not? No. <laughs> I just tried the mint chocolate ice cream and it is amazing. I love it. It may be the best mint chocolate ice cream that I have ever had. You can see the cow. Wow. Yudi and I noticed after a while that the spoons are wooden and they're also shaped. This is amazing. It's helpful for the environment and it feels natural when you're eating from it. Yes. Mm -hmm. I like them. You know this that I don't talk much when I'm eating. That's understandable. Now that we've finished our ice cream, we have to choose which receptacles to put our utensils in. These are wood, so I think these go in the organics. And these two are made from paper, so these will go into the paper receptacle. Hope we're right. It's your job. Thank you. Just across from the ice cream place, we found another set of receptacles. Some of them were for garbage and others were for recycling. A great way to help save the environment. Done, good job. In order to find an open Donair restaurant, we had to leave the waterfront and drive across town to Tony's famous Donairs and Pizza. This would be our last stop in Halifax, as after our dinner, we would drive back to New Brunswick. But first, we needed to fuel up on the best sandwiches in Nova Scotia. Tony's famous Donairs! Yeah, here he is! All right. There's just one more stop we had to make before we left Halifax, and that is to get the signature food which is called a donair and we have two donairs waiting for us right here these authentic donairs are from tony's famous donair and pizza i got yudi a medium with no onions because she doesn't like raw onions and i got a large for myself with everything on it we're looking forward to trying these so you can see the sizes are different this smaller one is mine for sure and this one is bigger Eating a donair is not a simple process and it's very, very messy. There are layers of aluminum foil. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm getting down to it. Oh, and right at the end, you see how juicy this is. I saw them cook the pita bread in beef fat. Oh! All right, you gonna try it? Okay. Oh my goodness. This oh. looks sloppy and oh, delicious. Oh no! Oh no! I, I lost a little. That's how big it is. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. Oh, oh. Look mm. at that. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Best sandwich ever. This is amazing. I also noticed in the restaurant, somebody right before me bought the sauce. So this person who makes these donairs and the sauce is so famous that people want to buy his sauce. He sells the sauce in bottles. We had to turn the camera off for a while to clean up after ourselves. These sandwiches are so juicy and so messy that we dripped the beef fat and the donair sauce all over. Had to clean it up a bit, but let's continue where we left off, shall we? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I cannot eat at the same time, otherwise no one will have a free hand to hold the camera. Mm. Now he cannot I got talk. Lucky. I got to be the person who eats. She has to hold the camera. Oh yeah. Mmm, that's very good. Oh, oh, he Look got at the raw size onions. Of this. And raw onions, yeah. Look at how much meat is in there. Yeah. It's twelve ninety five for the large. I pay for the large. You get nine ounces of meat, which is a staggering amount of meat. Yudi got the medium. It was eight ninety five for six ounces of meat. I think it's well worth the price. Well worth it and delicious. <laughs> 